What is up everybody, Vital Syntax here, and I don't know if I'd call this gameplay, but this is from the Blacklight Retribution open beta. Uh, I did a video previously talking about some of the basics of this game, um, and in that video I said I was going to show you guys some of the co weapon customization you can do. So that's what I'm doing in this video, and you can see right here I have an assault rifle, and I'm just kind of scrolling through and looking at the different optic attachments you've got. You've got uh, some holographic red dot sights, um, uh, even a couple of different iron sights, I believe. I believe there's two different options for iron sights. Uh, and then there's a bunch of mag high magnification scopes you can use. Um, so if you take a look over at the left side where it says profile, nodes, hero, equipment, and weapons, um, th those are basically all the different categories of things you can customize about your character. So profile, that's where you change things like your emblem and your title. And it's it's kind of the same way you do it in Call of Duty. So you have like this image that represents your character and you can actually go in and customize it. Uh, there's a little bit of like layering you can do and choose different colors and there's a couple preset images you can use, which is kind of cool. Uh, for nodes, I think those are like challenges. I'm not exactly sure what those are yet. Uh, the hero section actually allows you to have multiple different soldiers. So let's say you want to make a whole new account type of thing and have new stats without having to make a new account. You can just add a new soldier or a new hero, and you can you know you know leave your current settings, you know your current unlocks and all that stuff alone, and just make a new soldier, which is really nice. Um, for equipment, you got uh, I'll go into that. I'll actually show some footage of that in a little bit. But you've got a ton of things like what different types of grenades, what your character's wearing, and different types of um, just different skills and all these other things. And then the weapon, which is uh, probably the most important part, you've got up to five different loadouts. Um, right now, I only have the first one. I think it's like ten bucks to buy another loadout, which, to be honest, is quite expensive. Um, after playing this game for a couple hours, I started to realize, and I, you know, bought some in-game gold um, through PayPal, and I started to realize this game's actually pretty expensive. Like they charge you quite a bit. Uh, at first, I was like, "Wow, this is actually kind of cheap," but then I figured out there's actually a time limit on stuff you buy. So if I buy something, I'm actually only getting it for one day. Um, you can buy it for, th I think, a week, uh, 30 days, 60 days, and permanent. But if you buy something permanent, it costs a lot of money. I mean, like five or six bucks for one gun which I don't know I don't know if I th I, don't, I think they should probably lower the prices by quite a bit maybe even cut them in half um, and it's a free to play game and I understand that and that's I, I like that but there's uh, kind of a high price tag on the, uh, the, part, the stuff that you can purchase but anyway you can have up to five different loadouts if you want to spend 50 bucks um, on that which is ridiculous um, so here I'm looking through the armor. You can have different, much different options in this last one. Look at that. I, I, it's called the Bone Breaker, and that's the one I bought. So you can see it was like 50 Zen, which um, it's $10 for a thousand Zen. So that's not very much. But that's for one day, and after 24 hours, it's going to disappear, and I have to purchase again if I want to want to buy it again. But that mask just looks so badass, and that's probably the one I'll keep using. You can see there's a bunch of different types of body armor. Uh, or I guess outfits you wear, and they all have different stats too. If you look over on the right side, you can see some of the stats are changing, like the speed you run at, how much stamina you have, and even even how much health you have. Um, so it's not just for aesthetics; um, it's also changes your character stats, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can change your helmet, you can change your um, your body armor, I guess. You can change your boots, um, and you can change your camouflage. And then under gear, there's like different types of grenades and things like that. Um, so I mean, there's just so so much stuff, especially when you get into like the camos. I'll show you. There's like 77 options or something like that, uh, a ridiculous amount. Uh, you can also use gold points. Um, so you've got Zen and you've got um, GB, GP, which I think stands for gold points. That's my that's what I would guess. Uh, and that's what you just get from playing the game. So you might get I don't know a couple hundred. I, I wouldn't say I don't think you get more than like 200 gold points, maybe 300 gold points in a game. I think I was usually getting around 150 to 200 uh, gold points on a, on a good match. And you can see I'm scrolling through the uh, different camouflages here, and there's quite a few of them. They all look pretty cool, too. And uh, they definitely did a good job with customization in this game. Uh, and, and this isn't just for your eyes. I mean, when you're actually in the game, you, people are going to see uh, your setup and how badass your character looks. 
And it's kind of obvious that you, that's what you expect. But you also see that these camouflages are all green and they all say Zen. That means you cannot buy them with gold points. You have to actually pay money um, to get them. But 40 Zen isn't really anything, but keep in mind that's just for one day. So I bought the all black armor. I was kind of going for the all black death skull look. Um, so here are some different type of gear things. Like some of them will, um, like this one says throw a downed teammate a uh, revive kit and they can revive themselves, which is pretty cool. Um, drop an ammunition pod so you can revive or uh, replenish your am ammo. Um, there's a bunch of different things that you can do uh, with the gear. Um, and then the depot, depot, which is the next section after armor and gear, you, there's a couple different changes you can make to uh, the mech, um, the flamethrower, and the rocket launcher, which are the different types of, I guess, kill streaks. I should call them. I don't know if that's proper word, but they're kind of like that, where you, where you can purchase um, things in game with the points you earn for that game. And keep in mind that those points you earn for getting kills and things don't transfer over to you know an, another game it's it, the slate gets reset every every match but yeah this should give you a good idea of just how customizable this game is by far the most customization i've ever seen in a game and that's definitely where this game shines so anyway that's uh, all i wanted to show you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys did feel free to leave a rating or a favorite and once again check this game out if you haven't already and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace